One of the hypercars is leaving the collection. Now, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened in the last three months. Actually, my LaFerrari is gone, my McLaren P1 is gone, but I've also added some really cool cars. I have my G-Wagon that I'm now dailying. The poor Urus barely gets even driven anymore. Um, I've added the Aventador, which I said I'd never buy, but I went and bought it anyway because it's an SV, it's better, it's a roadster. <laughs> I love that car. I it's know. so It's good. great. I it's have no car. regrets. That was, a good, that was a good buy. Daytona? The, Tona, the Dodge in, Daytona, which yeah. that, that was actually like, that was my holy grail car. The one that I just never thought I would buy, but it, I'm like, why haven't I bought one of these yet? I love that car. And that Daytona gets more looks than any other car that I have. The mm -hmm. Bugatti, the Pagani, literally two times more looks than anything else. I think people really love and respect it that It might car, be so. the vibiest car you own. Like legit, driving 100%. that with like ACDC on, the windows down, yes. it is the coolest experience. And we need to get livery on it. We need to get oh, the yeah. Petty. We should do that. And we already ordered the cool license plate. You guys are going to see that soon. I'm, I'm stoked about that. Regardless, I have a lot of cars coming in too. So part of the reason why I sold off a lot of those cars was because I have a lot of cars coming in. A huge part of the reason that the collection has changed so much in the last few months is because I have some awesome cars coming in. Now, the P1, the LaFerrari, I really just didn't enjoy those cars, so I wasn't going to keep spending all of that money to maintain them. I really um, did enjoy LaFerrari. I'm I sorry. Didn't. It's just so funny to hear. I, I, I just didn't. The people so, I understand. So they had, so they, I mean, the LaFerrari, I could, I could sell that and get three hypercars. It's true. No, way it's, more, way more for how you drive your cars, it makes sense. So, and the Chiron, actually, we didn't even talk about how that left. Uh, yeah, the Countach was a big money car, too. The there was Kuntash. a lot. Um, but a lot of that was done, A, because they didn't drive them, but B, because... I needed to cash up a little bit because I have heavy hitters coming to the collection. First coming in is the Remak Nevera. Now, I literally just got an email about having to pay the balance on that vehicle uh, because they're doing the final QA. So that's gonna be here so soon. Look out for that delivery video maybe in the next like three weeks. I bet you that's my favorite car that I have until a few weeks later when the Bugatti Chiron SS hits. So we're talking about $6 million plus tax of cash. And then I found out that you also have to pay shipping and duties you would think that that'd be built into the price because when you buy a bmw you don't get charged Wait, duties really for both yeah i didn't even know that until the remark because this the, the remark will be my first overseas hypercar that i've ever received delivered new yeah so when you go buy a bmw anything else at a dealer yeah, of here course. it's built in it's built in your rolls royce was that came yes. from england but i have to pay one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on top of what i thought i had to pay for the remark and duties duty. and shipping so <laughs> for real <laughs> <Sorry>. duty expensive <laughs> duty I'm sorry. good one also uh, the revolto that's 800 grand that'll yeah. be here hopefully march or april yep it keeps getting pushed supposedly out. every month it goes back two months it's two yes. steps forward one step back and then the yesco but, maybe towards the end of the year anything oh and then the hennessy maybe towards the end of the year as well so i have like 12 million dollars in cars 12 million dollars in cars yeah. coming in the next 12 months so i'm kind of getting ahead of the curve because some of these vehicles take a while to sell also didn't mention we're still trying to sell the rolls royce and the sf90 the ferrari sf90 market has been hit hammered. Yeah. I've dropped that thing almost $100,000. It still will not sell. So if you guys want to buy a white Ferrari SF90, it has 200 miles on it. I've barely even touched it. Buy it. True. Of course, a big goal this year was to get all of those cars here as soon as humanly possible. Um, another huge goal that I just completed was buying my home in Florida. Just closed on that, had an awesome time there with some great friends. It was just such a blast and, and I absolutely love that home. But that home was expensive. We're gonna do a house tour. It's the favorite home that I own right now. So you guys look out for that house tour video. I think it's going to be so phenomenal. And I really just want to share that home with you guys and show it to you guys. This year, I also have some goals. And one of those is spending a little bit more time with the family. I also want to make sure that I grow my businesses. I am back and heavily involved with Fitment Industries, custom offsets. So really trying to grow those businesses and stabilize those. And then, you know, just some me time. I think we all need some mental clarity and just making sure that I have that time for myself. Frankly, life is just stressful for me because there is a lot of stuff going on. And you know what? What I do might be no different from what you do in a day i'm sure you work a full day you have a, you could have a family friends this life is a lot to balance but you know what not everybody can can manage that on their own so it's important that when you need help you go seek therapy for it i always try to be honest and upfront with my audience and you know what like life is just difficult to manage on my own so i go see a therapist to help me with this kind of stuff life can be overwhelming and you'd be surprised how much benefit you can get from seeing a therapist and frankly, a lot of insurance companies will cover your therapy. On that note, I wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp makes it much easier and much less intimidating starting therapy. BetterHelp lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, even messaging, whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based upon your needs, preferences, and location, giving you access to a wider range of expertise than may be available in your city. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire that will ask you questions about what challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like. And then BetterHelp can match you with a therapist to help you. 
Join over 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Just click on the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash Hamilton. You'll be matched with a therapist in most cases in just 48 hours. And if you feel like a therapist isn't a good fit, you can switch therapists with the click of a button in the settings at no cost to you. This is a favorite feature of many people because they don't need to break up with their therapist and start their search all over again. Clicking the link in the description helps support this channel and it saves you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. It'll allow you to get connected with the therapist and see if it can help you. And now for the vehicle that's leaving the collection if you haven't figured it out yet because it's right behind me, the Pagani Wyver Roadster. This is actually the first car that I have decided to sell that I, that I liked. I actually fully enjoy this. It just comes down to money. <laughs> like, At least you're being honest. Yes. It's like, an expensive car. This is a car that we covered in one of our prior vlogs about some of the vehicles that I do actually finance, and this is one of them. And I pay over $30,000 a month for this car. Now, with a home in Florida that I just bought and two homes and other homes in Florida, yes, I have three homes in Florida, I'm stupid. I have to carry the costs of the other two homes that I'm not living in. So that's really expensive and they haven't sold yet. And I need this, I've got cars coming in that put a lot of money down on that I'm, but that I'm probably or maybe going to finance. Ultimately, I like to just make sure that I have a comfort level of cash. I don't like things to be tight. And this could get me to a point where cash gets a little bit tight and, and I don't want to be there. A question, how many times a month do you drive this car, you think? Like in the summer? I have a like number. on average throughout the year. I have a number in my head. What do you think it is? How many times? Do you drive this car? Yeah. I think you drive this car 20 times a year. So like between one and two times a month. I said two times a month. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, so that's part of it. So it's, it's $15,000 a drive. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way, but I might have it's sold it That's It's $1,000 dollars a day. Yes. Uh, so the Pagani's going bye-bye. Yes. That sucks, because I love that car. I mean, and, and, and just honestly, it, this could change. Like. This isn't a sure thing. This car could take, like the Bugatti Chiron took months to sell, the, the LaFerrari Ferrari. took months. Yeah. If I sell those other Florida homes, hit and hit, go buy my Florida homes on Muirfield Street in Reunion, Florida. Just go buy them and then I keep this. So like, do you see yourself buying another Wyvern? Because obviously you yeah. love this car. Like we've talked about it off camera a bunch yes. and like this is one of the better drivers. It's so unique. It's such a vibe. Like, do you think you'll get a BC or a BC Roadster down the road when like you sell the homes or when cars are paid for that are coming that, in? That's an awesome. So. The dynamic of this collection changes when I sell my business. So one of my goals, we talked about goals earlier. One of my goals is not to completely sell my business, but I want to take some chips off the table and sell 60 to 80% of my business. Now, when that happens, I come into a lot of cash, but a lot of what I'm doing right now with the business is trying to really, really drive growth and drive bottom line and still keeping them as awesome companies, right? So when I take some chips off the table, genuinely, I should come into a lot of money. And I want to remind you guys that I've worked 20 years and extremely hard to get where I'm at and sacrificed a lot. So it's not like I'm just, you know, it's not like it didn't take a lot of work to get here, but this collection is going to get ridiculous when I do sell the business because I'm not going to really be working and I'm going to have a lot of money and that's dangerous with me. <laughs> dangerous. Uh, what do you so, think, what do you think that is? Like if you were to guesstimate, I mean, I'm hoping within one to two years, it could be sooner. Yeah. So when that happens, like, yes, a Pagani will be at the top of my list. I mean, I still have the Utopia on order and, uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed cruising in this. It was just, it just came down to money. Like the experience, it's the only car that, that I would buy back. You bought two of them. You've other had. Than the, other than the Aventador. As of right now. It was now, so good. You got another one. Knowing all the ones that I sold the Chiron, well, the Chiron I sold knowing I had one coming in, but like, yeah. I'm not going to buy another LaFerrari. I'm sorry. I'm not going to buy another P1. Yeah. I know that breaks your heart a little bit. Maybe. Uh, he said he wouldn't buy a G -Wagon. He said that. he wouldn't buy a G-Wagon either. Maybe was, an HDK. That was maybe. the lowered tiny we'll version. See. We'll see about that. When you sell your company. Do you need a flashback a year ago when I said I would buy that 4x4 squared version? I've been working on it for three years. And That's, you're maybe, fine. Maybe. Oh, people want to come to the channel soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Do we have any, any hyper supercars that like, what, what's next? Because the, the Hennessy was the newest hypercar purchase. Like, so what do I, what do I need to prepare myself for? We're actually wise? going to cover a video soon about this. Like cars that have come out recently, cars that he has in order, which I know a lot of you guys know already, um, cars he'll never buy. Um, but I think there is a, a short list of cars like that they when don't you do know about that, that I'm going to buy. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get into that in a different video. But yes. um, I feel like at one point you did say when you sell your company, you do want to rock a McLaren F1. Yes. We're also looking for a Lamborghini really soon because we're going to give one away to our subscribers. So if one of our subscribers wanted to win this Lamborghini, what would they have to do? It's really easy. All you have to do is go to the HamiltonCollection.com, fill out the form that gets you entered. And then if we hit a million subs by August 1st of this year, we're just going to randomly select someone to win that Lamborghini. Now some other conditions apply, but that's really the bread and butter of this. So we just want to give one away. You don't need to buy anything. I'm subscribed. Do it. It could be me. Just kidding. Can you imagine? <laughs> it would never happen. <laughs> so he's like, and happen. Tommy won it. <laughs> if his name gets picked for any reason. We'll redraw. He's fired. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got a one in a million chance. What a guy.
And if you haven't subscribed yet, go freaking subscribe. And if you are subscribed and you haven't filled out that form, go fill out the freaking form. Assuming that we do get a buyer, it's gonna be super hard to see this thing go because it was my absolute favorite cruiser when you are just going out to drive and not race. The Pagani was the number one car. The turbo sounded amazing. It's a Roadster, which is a huge plus in my book. The interior in that vehicle is by far like 10 times nicer than any other interior in any other Hyper that I've ever owned. What else? Oh, I think and the, the, like the looks. This yeah, I mean, it's stunning. Like, it's seeing it on the road is so crazy. I think one of my favorite experiences driving any car ever was in Monterey on Highway 1, like, ripping this through canyons. Like, it's yeah. just such an amazing vehicle. This was the one I was, this is the one I chose to drive when we shipped out a bunch of cars to Monterey as well. Yeah. It's the best car for just cruising in the hills. And it explodes out. Like, it looks at a show. It's almost, it's the only car that just, that I have that completely expands yeah. out. You can see all the, the suspension, chassis, motor. It's just, it's, a, amazing. it's art. It's art on wheels. But yeah, I hope the Pagani doesn't sell. It's a yes. good car. But I, I mean, in a perfect world, my two Florida homes sell and I keep the Pagani. Yeah. Boom. So if you sold both those Roasted. cars next week, what would you like? What is that just set you up for all the car, like incoming cars? Or would you buy anything else like on a whim? No, I think that if I sold the two homes, I could keep this, but anything else that comes in, basically I have with this sold or with the Florida home sold, I have enough cash allocated to cover Bugatti, Remak, and then the, the Revolto. Not the Hennessy yet. Not yet. Um, Too expensive. Yeah. I know. That car, the Hennessy is actually freaking amazing. I think it is. people, there's such a, they feel homegrown still. And again, I will cover this in the video where we talk about hypercars, but like, yep. and it's so impressive what they've done. And that car just drives, I didn't drive it, but I rode in it and I heard you talk about it. Yeah. And it's amazing. I can't it, wait for that car. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but it, it, it feels a lot like the Koenigsegg Yesco, but I think it impressed me more and, and is better than the Yesco. That's my opinion. It's a hot take. That's that a hot is. take. We'll see. Yeah, at the end of the day, it sucks, but um, it makes sense. There's a lot of fun cars coming. Um, yep. On that note, if you guys want to like, comment, subscribe, that would be amazing. Go on a Lamborghini. Keep watching the videos. we got a lot of fun stuff coming out, so uh, we'll see you next time.